Ballerina, I'm not. Okay, so it's got to be something good because this is for pro wrestling and who wants to see ballet? Although some of wrestling could be ballet. But there's actually a cool women's wrestling documentary and what a great time to have this. And it's titled Ballerina, I'm Not. Who better to do a women's documentary than a female wrestler? Francesca Zapatelli is the director and writer of this women's wrestling documentary. Francesca, tell us what inspired you to do Ballerina I'm Not. Thank you, James, for having me. Honored to be here. What inspired me to make the film? I wanted to get into filmmaking, and I thought a perfect place to start would be to tell a story about a world I knew. And as a professional wrestler of over 10 years, I, I wanted to share the story of female professional wrestling. And I feel that female don't always get the limelight, especially the females who are the big superstars. Everyone hears the superstar stories, like the Bella Twins and the Happily Ever After stories. But what about the underdog stories in the wrestling world? I wanted to share that untold story, as well as celebrate the history that has really come a long way. Back in the 50s, women weren't even allowed to wrestle alongside men. And then they became the sideshow. So now women are the main event in WWE and UFC. And that's something we should really moralize, the progress women have made. I also met amazing women in the wrestling world, and I wanted to share their stories as well as mine. And Ballerina I'm Not, tell us how you came up with the title. Honestly, I like the title because I'm VOD. Titles uh, before, it's closer to A, rank better for sales because they're closer to A. So when people are reading, they see, they see a C title. So I was looking for a, a title at the beginning of the alphabet from a filmmaking business sense. And Ballerina I'm Not made sense because as a child, my parents let me do ballet. Very gender specific, traditional ballet I was allowed to do. And there's nothing wrong with ballet, I think it's beautiful. However, I was a tomboy, I wanted to be a fighter, and I wasn't allowed to do that. So I thought ballerina I'm not really fits the picture. How long of a process did it take to do this documentary? It took me years. First it started with the idea. And then I did it on a very low budget, nickel and a dime, it's been my passion project. And the challenge with the documentary is you don't have a script to follow. So I get a bunch of footage, and then in that footage I had to find a storyline. And it was a daunting process. However, I'm so excited to finally have it out, and it'll be on Amazon this week for everyone to see. Who were some of the wrestlers that you were able to speak to and get for part of this documentary? I have a wide variety of wrestlers in it. Shelly Martinez is definitely featured. She was with WWE as well as PNA, and she wrestled on the indie circuit. And she is a beautiful personality in person. I was excited to have her a part of it. As well as Stacey Keebler, and she's the American sweetheart living the dream come true story and had a, just a wonderful story to share. We also uh, shine a light on some of the other WWE superstars and what happened with them in WWE and their thoughts in WWE, such as Gail Kim and Maria Canales. And then I have an indie superstar, Chris Ubici, in there, as well as another MMA fighter, Julie Ginther, uh, her experience with wrestling as well as mixed martial arts. Why do you think now is a good time for this project to manifest itself and be seen by the public? I think there's a lot of news being brought to women in entertainment and how they are treated and how this can be approved upon. And when I first started wrestling over 10 years ago, I was the only woman in wrestling school. And it was definitely a challenge being the only woman in a male-dominated industry. And now in the wrestling world, women have really found their spotlight. And I, I think... Examining this can help women in other industries, whether it be entertainment or female directors or women in politics, where they're still the minority that they need to keep on keeping on and they'll find their platform. What were some of the challenges, if any, of making this documentary? So many challenges. <laughs> where do I start? Uh, getting all the clips. 
clearances for a documentary uh, with fair use. That was a little bit of challenge. Uh, what else was challenging? Just finding the storyline, like I mentioned earlier, having all this footage, it's great footage, I didn't want to cut, but there's no point in having footage if it doesn't tell a story. I, I found that challenging. And just the, the process of putting it together over the years, 